Hi, it's Baldwin St. Tillis. I'm with Eric Smith today. Um, he's a, his newest book, um, Deke's Guide to Dating, just released. He just did a signing. Um, so how did the signing go? I was good. My hand is, uh, yeah, I can't really feel it, <laughs> but uh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, what inspired you to write this book? Uh, it was actually my editor's idea. Uh, I'd been talking a lot about this new girl I had started dating. I was talking a lot about her on Facebook and I was saying really funny things about the fact that she wasn't a geek and I'm this total nerd uh, and you know, how was it going to work, what we were going to do. And he, was, he came up to me and was like, you know, we should write, we should do a book of some kind about like geek culture and dating. Uh, what do you think? So I gave it a shot and the book happened and now me and that girl are engaged. So it's a happy story all around. <laughs> right, so this book is mostly based on your life. Goodness, speak. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of my life, uh, a little bit of research, um, all sort of crammed together with all the crazy geek canon stuff I've gathered my whole life. So, so you met your fiance before you wrote this book. So I mean, technically, you didn't need. To, if you had this book before, <laughs> would you say that you needed it? Uh, probably not. But you know, like I. I feel like working on the book made me a better boyfriend, you know, because like I was doing research and like the more dating stuff I read, the more things I saw that I was like, well, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not doing this as well as I should be. Uh, so I, th I think it made me a better guy for her. So I'm kind of, kind of grateful that I got to work on the project. So I think a lot of these dating books can work for people like not so much this is exactly what you need to do, but has sort of a guide of yeah, 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 you know, a little, little nudge along the way, you know. Um, what's one piece of wisdom that you hope your fans get from the book? Uh, to be themselves, you know, I feel like, especially amongst my friends, you know, the, the whole, maybe I'm going to hide these certain things about myself that I think are a little too geeky and a little too weird and quirky, uh, but I think you just put it all out there, you know, like, no matter what it is, just put it out there because if they're not interested in you because of some weird little quirk, they're not right for you in the first place. So, while it is geared towards men, you feel that some women can actually still benefit from the book? Yeah, I think so. There, there's a little blip in the beginning that, that says some stuff along those lines. Um, the advice is really universal. It's, you know, be yourself and don't be a jerk, you know, be nice to one another. <laughs> now, um, was writing something that you found passionate in early on was something that you stumbled upon later on in life? Yeah, I always wanted to write. My my parents, when I was a kid, got me this like old electric typewriter that like you would type everything in, and there was like a crappy tiny little screen that like all the text would pop on, and when you'd finish, you'd hit enter, and it'd go like, <laughs> and it'd all come out. Uh, and I spent way too much time on that, and it definitely like influenced me. Like now, I write essays. I have another book coming out later this year. Uh, yeah, it's been. I've always been writing. It's all their fault. <laughs> cool. And you're also part of Geekadelphia. Yes. And with that, um, because since you started that, have you found that the gig scene has grown in Philadelphia or has you found it harder to find stuff because you started and all of a sudden now, all right, there's every, every, all, this, all this stuff here, but now uh, what else is out there? Mm -hmm. It's it's always been a really big scene in Philly. I just, I felt like it wasn't being covered anywhere. So my pal Tim and I made this website uh, that now actually shows it off. Um, but there's always been like a big geek culture uh, in the city and I'm, I'm glad I'm there. Now, you have a new book coming, another book coming out soon called Ink. Mm -hmm. Is young fiction something that you've done before or is something new to you? Uh, yeah, young adults definitely new for me. I, uh, when, I was working, when I first started working at Quirk, we worked on these, uh, this series with Ransom Riggs called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, and after I read it, I was like, oh my god, why aren't I trying to write YA books? This is, this, this is, what I, this is how I like to write. So I gave it a shot. And a couple, about a year later, I got my agent, and now this book is coming out with uh, with Bloomsbury. Oh, what's the premise of Inked? So it, it takes place in this like medieval fantasy world, you know, think castles and stuff like that, uh, where when you come of age, you have to get these tattoos that are magic. They're made with this magic ink, and it tells the world what you're best at and what you're meant to do for the rest of your life. Uh, and it focuses on this kid who discovers that. Uh, the ink is actually harvested from people that have real magic powers, and he's one of these people. And now he has to run away uh, before the government gets him and is trying to, like, warn everybody that this is what's happening. So it's you know it's like a little bit of um, you know, angsty teen. I want to be who I am, mixed with a little bit of Final Fantasy, mixed with a little bit of uh, Soylent Green, I guess. <laughs> it's people, you know, kind of thing going on. <laughs>
So, would that be tramp stamps? Uh, yeah, I guess that, that would be a thing. The tattoos really just like cover everyone's bodies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, do you have any advice for new writers, upcoming writers? Uh, just, just keep at it, you know? Like, for me, it's always been about having like a serious discipline, like, show up, do the work. You know, I had this, I had this professor back in college that was, that was very much her advice. Like, writing is all about just showing up. You know, like, if you, you want to write really badly, writing five minutes a day when you're about to fall asleep probably isn't going to do it. You know, you should probably have a schedule. Get to the coffee shop if you have to. Get a home office. Just get down and, and do the work. And also, your cosplay, you've done the Master Chief. <laughs> Yeah. Are you doing any other cosplays besides that? Or? Yeah, I, I've been working on a, a Rocketeer costume. Uh, the hardest part is fixing the helmet, but I think once that's done, I'll be I'll be hitting the streets in that crazy costume. <laughs> so, any conventions you, go, you plan on hitting after this? Yeah, we're doing Wizard World in Philadelphia. Uh, we'll be at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, Quirk, we go we go to a lot of cons. The New York Comic Con? Yeah, yeah, we'll be at New York Comic Con too, which is so much fun. All right, thank you for your time. Hey, no problem. This is great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, no problem. It. This is awesome. Thanks.